Welcome back to Talk of the Town. Joining us now is Lee Edwards, the president of The Greenery. Welcome, good to see you again. Thank you, it's great to be here. Last time I saw you, your company was out on a big job at the Cell Family Arts Center, working uh, diligently and uh, extended the grant, and that was a, a beautiful project there. It was nice it to was see. It was a lot of fun, yeah. a lot of fun. Tell us about the history of The Greenery. Well, the greenery was started back in 1973. My parents moved to Hilton Head and wanted to get in, wanted to start their own business here, and they found a little small landscape company for sale. Had about six employees and uh, two pickup trucks, and they really took off from there, uh, doing primarily work just on Hilton Head, residential and then commercial. Brought on landscape architects and built the company up over the years. And now we have branches in Charleston, Somerville, uh, Beaufort, Savannah, Hilton Head, Hardyville, Bluffton. Uh, so we work all up and down the coast. That's great because I, I think a lot of folks may not realize that. They may think you're just here on Hilton Head alone. But I also understand you have several hundred employees. Is that correct? That's right. We've got about 600 employees and it's a lot to keep track of, but we've got mm -hmm. some really good folks. And speaking of that, your company is employee owned. Tell us about how that differs from a company that is, is maybe corporately owned. Well, it's, it's like every other business that uh, the profits go to the owners, but the big difference is everyone who works at the greenery is an owner. So everybody has a stake in the success of the company. We like to think it's kind of a symbiotic relationship. If the employee does really well, the company's successful. If the company is successful, then the employee will be rewarded more in the long run. And it's set up like a retirement plan. So they gain stock uh, ownership in the company over years. The longer they're there and the more money they make and the more successful the company is, then the more they'll have in their retirement account. So it's, a, it's a really good program. We think it uh, helps reduce employee turnover. It increases loyalty and, and it People have a stake in it when they know that uh, they affect the bottom line and that the bottom line goes to them. They they work harder and they have they take pride in that. So yeah. it's a it's been a really good thing for us. Yeah, absolutely. Now you have a purpose statement that uh, sets you apart from other companies. Tell us what that is and why that's important to the greenery. Well, it's not only the mission, uh, the purpose statement, but the mission statement. The mission statement is. Uh, to be the premier landscape service provider in the markets we serve, basically to be the best. And we want everybody to know what we do. We provide beautiful landscaping, but something that we really try to hit home with our folks is our purpose statement, which is why we do it. Mm -hmm. And you might get a group of new employees or a group of people that, you know, and, and you'll say, why do we do what we do? And they'll say, well, you know, the first thing is to make money. Uh, well, you know, every business needs to make money, but um, I'll say, no, it's, it's deeper than that. Uh, they say, well, we need to make things beautiful. And I say, well, that's what we do, mm -hmm. but why do we do that? And I, I try to get the answer out of them by probing a little bit. And uh, really the reason why we do it is because we want to make people happy. So our pur purpose statement is enhancing people's lives through beautiful landscaping. So we want to we want our employees to all know why we're doing something, and it's basically to make people happy. Uh, it's important to have everything look beautiful, but you've got to have a happy client, and that could be a homeowner. So at the end of the day, when they drive in their driveway and they, you know, have a tough day at work and they they come home and the first thing they see is that beautiful yard, and mm -hmm. we want them to come in the day that the greenery guys have been there and say, oh man, this is great. We wanted to be happy. Um, if it's somebody packed in a minivan with a whole family driving down from Ohio and they go to check into their hotel or their condominium or they, you know, the first thing they see is landscaping. They see the tropical lush landscape and the flowers, the grass. We want them to be excited to be here. And if it's uh, somebody driving in their gated community and they, you know, turn off a 278 or off a Sea Pine Circle or wherever it is and, and we take care of that community, we want them to take pride in that community. We want them to be excited and happy about it. So, and we try to instill that in our employees that our job is to make people happy 
by providing great service and great landscaping. Well, you're obviously doing a wonderful job. Uh, keep up the good work because it is a beautiful island and you're doing beautiful work on top of that. So thank you for the history that your family has here on the island and all the care that you give to our community. Well, thank you very much. Stick right back. We'll be here for more Talk of the Town.